Really great to be here. Uh, thanks for the introduction, Stephen. <laughs> thanks, Chris. Um, so, yeah, my name is Jeff Morrison. I'm a project manager and project architect with Goodman Slack Architecture. And uh, I'm just going to talk for a few minutes about uh, our project at 788 West Midtown. And uh, then we'll open it up for some questions after that. Great. Um, <clears throat> so uh, this is um, a rendering of the building. Um, it's a, a condominium tower over on West Mario Street. Um, the project team is ourselves, Good Man's Lack Architecture, uh, McKinley Homes, uh, which is uh, also known as Foxdale Development, and then uh, Multifamily Construction, uh, who you also know better as Bats and Cook, they're the contractors. Um, it's a really distinctive project. It's going up on the uh, vibrant uh, west side uh, of Atlanta, um, over between sort of the Brady and King Plow Art Center. And um, it's uh, the tallest thing by far on that side of the city. And it's also distinctive in the marketplace because it's all condominiums. It's a 22-story building of condos over a podium of residential and parking. It's got uh, about 8,400 square feet of tenant uh, retail space facing uh, West Marietta Street and parking for 500 cars. Um, so we uh, envisioned the building as this um, very modern object uh, rising up out of the uh, neighborhood, um, but the, the podium uh, that's wrapped in brick uh, anchors it back to the context of these uh, historic warehouses and uh, arts venues. The building envelope is all glass and metal panel. It's a window wall system. Um, and um, it's, uh, as I said, it's about 18 stories of residential above the uh, parking podium. The uh, balconies uh, projecting from the units all have a glass railing that um, has a glass edge instead of a metal top, which uh, adds to the sort of transparency of them. Uh, the building skin has two different types of glass uh, with a slightly different uh, reflectivity that um, plays up the composition of the whole. And um, at either end of the building, there's uh, a line of recessed balconies that uh, create a nice shadow reveal on each end of the building. Uh, the project was uh, fully implemented using uh, BIM 3D, 3D modeling from the very early conceptual stages uh, all the way through coordination with the engineering consultants and then into uh, construction with all of the clash detection with each of the um, subcontractor trades. Uh, this is a rendering of the pool deck with the um, dramatic skyline in the background. Um, so the combination of the, uh, where the building is positioned um, on the west side of town gives it lots of panoramic views and we really took advantage of that um, with the all glass uh, building facade. So um, that is just a rendering, it's not the real view, um, but this is the actual real view. Um, this was taken by a project superintendent uh, on a very early morning concrete pour from one of the upper levels uh, of the building. Um, this, is, this is the benefit of getting up really early in the morning to do your concrete pour. Uh, moving into the building, uh, Crosby Design Group has led the interior design effort. Um, the, the target has been a modern, um, simple, elegant look using clean lines and uh, very rich materials uh, with some accent contrasts of uh, exposed concrete, the natural concrete of the structure. Um, that stair in the lobby is a centerpiece that leads up to the club room. It's um, a nice uh, exposed sort of freestanding concrete stair. 
The building amenities uh, include the pool deck, this um, outdoor amenity terrace with a yoga lawn and uh, outdoor kitchen and a fire pit. Um, the two outdoor decks are connected by the club room that's got fireplaces and a large uh, common kitchen and uh, a big operable glass wall that opens up onto the uh, amenity terrace. Um, and then for the, for the pet lovers, there's uh, a dog spa and even an indoor dog run so that you can walk your dog uh, without getting rained on. That's becoming an important amenity these days. Um, so there's 279 residential units. Um, all of them have uh, hardwood floors and high-end kitchen finishes, um, floor-to-ceiling glass. They range from studios to three-bedroom units. Um, and uh, the kitchen and bathroom fix, uh, well, the kitchen finishes are offered in three different um, finished packages. At the top level, there's 10 penthouse units, uh, which have recessed covered balconies, of course, the panoramic views, uh, even higher ceilings, and um, each penthouse unit has a gas fireplace. Uh, this is actually the uh, sales center um, that was uh, built out across the street. Includes uh, a build out of one of the unit kitchens and a bathroom, so you can uh, really get into it and, and experience the actual finishes. Um, so this is one of the um, team members from Ansley Development at the sales center with the um, architectural model and then behind it they've got a digital screen with the 3D model that they can orbit around and uh, open up any floor plan, um, identify any unit and it's linked back to the architectural model too. It's a pretty nice uh, operation. So uh, this is the building as it stands today. Um, it's been under construction for about 20 months. The um, Batson Cook has been able to turn over one floor every week going up the building. Um, so the skin is pretty much done. Almost all the units are done and they're wrapping up um, the areas along the street right now. And it's set to open um, at the end of October. Um, so we're really, uh, really excited about it. Um, the skin, uh, we think, has come out really well. It, uh, it reflects um, the character of the sky uh, as well as the skyline behind it. Um, and it, it uh, picks up the different um, cloud or the, the lighting conditions in different ways. It looks great in the sunset, too. Um, so, you know, I, I went through a lot of these uh, photorealistic renderings because um, the inside of the building isn't ready to shoot yet. And for the most part, like in the units, uh, you almost can't tell the difference between um, the 3D rendering and the actual build unit uh, because the technology is so great. But one thing that they really can't capture is the play of the light on the skin. And so we're really happy with um, how that's coming. This is our project team from Good Van Slyke. Uh, on the left, that's Jason Wright, Jay Leach, myself, Chris Good, and Paul Van Slyke. Uh, and that's our office uh, just over in the Old Fourth Ward. Um, as Steve mentioned, our portfolio at uh, Good Van Slyke includes uh, a pretty broad range of uh, institutional projects, commercial projects, um, a fair bit in multifamily, and uh, as well as, as he mentioned, uh, a large amount of the interiors of uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. This again was the project team for 788. This is the primary team with uh, McKinley Homes as a developer, um, assisted by Ansley Development and CIM, and then ourselves with uh, Bats and Cook Construction. And then uh, our team of consultants uh, included Crosby Design Group on the interiors, Long Engineering with Civil Engineering, uh, Structural was by Browder Leguzeman, and MEP was uh, AHA Consulting. And as Stephen mentioned, um, I am an author, published author. 
Uh, last year I wrote a book uh, with a series of uh, black and white photographs like this one taken uh, of the Gulch uh, and uh, underground Atlanta downtown. And that's coupled with uh, a history of the area and the role it's played in the growth of Atlanta from the very beginning. Um, so the book is called Atlanta Underground, History from Below. Uh, it's been a great uh, way to um, tie in my love of architecture with my love of history and, um, and a really fascinating study of the history of Atlanta. And, um, so I've got some copies with me if anybody wants a signed copy. Um, I've got those for sale. And uh, yeah, so with that, um, that's uh, our story about 788 and I can uh, open